Hi guys, welcome back to my kitchen. It is another <laughs> weekly food shop for my family and um, please excuse the state of me today. Well and truly worn out. Didn't sleep very well last night. Marla had her kittens right on her due date or my estimated due date for her and um, oh, it was a bit of an experience. She had three in the end but um, she had one at four o'clock in the afternoon when I made the announcement on my community post. But then, because I had to cook dinner and it was a bit chaotic, she actually paused her labour. And I started worrying because she's never done this before. Um, but it is it can be a, a, a common thing. It's nothing dangerous or anything. She paused it for a little while until things calmed down in the house and I could actually sit next to her and play midwife. So um, she kind of, after things calmed down, Nathan went to sleep after a bath and all that lot and we all had dinner. She saw I was sitting down on the sofa and um, she just started meowing at me, um, leading me back to her bed where she's decided to have her kittens. And um, I had to sit on the floor for another hour and then things started progressing I could see she was contracting again and then she was pushing and um, at 10 past 7 at night the second kitten come which was great and then by 7 30 the third kitten come and they are doing really really well um, after this video once I've shown you the shopping haul I'll um, insert a little clip of how the kittens are and then it's just a little update on them so you can see how cute little white mice ragdolls look like when they're first born and then I will do a proper video maybe if you guys are interested later on in the week and then if if you are interested all of you lot um, I'm more than happy to do regular updates on the kittens and you'll be amazed at how their colours develop because they're not born with their colours like a normal tabby and all that lot, they're born white and then as they get older their colours develop and same as their patterns but um, that can be a whole different video you guys have come here for my weekly food shop I've been to Aldi today um, I went there because we was downtown with Shane getting him some new school uniform because he's outgrown everything again that's probably who you can hear coughing in the background um, we went to Aldi and I managed to pick up some absolute fantastic deals. Okay, lots and lots of savings. But um, I didn't have a meal plan. And I still don't. Um, I don't know if I'm going to wing it. Or later on, I've got to go to Morrison's and pick up a surprise bag. And depending on what I get in there and what I've picked up today, our um, meal plan around that, if that makes sense. Um, I know what I'm doing for everyone for dinner tonight and um, pretty much what I'm going to be eating for the rest of the week because I am going to start I am trying to start eating a bit healthier lose a little bit of weight but not a whole lot you know it just make me feel a bit better about myself um, I'm looking a bit sparse on the eyelashes I'm getting them infilled on Thursday so I'll feel a bit better about that and then hopefully Nathan will start sleeping better and um my baggies will start going but um like i say on this channel this is a real life mum of four in the uk just trying to get through every day so let's get on and show you what i've picked up from aldi today shall we because that's what you've come here for so let's turn you around and show you what we've got right here we go guys i'll give you a quick overview so you can see it all and then we'll go item by item i will put the prices on the screen for you and i will put at the end how much this all cost but this is what we got i mean that's just the magazine i always pick one of these up when i go in there but we've got some pizzas we've got 50 percent off lots of salad lots of discounts i think we went at the right time some meats, fish, pastas, lots of goodies, lots and lots of goodies. And then um, bog standard, usual stuff, a bit of frozen and some treaty bits. But um, let's get on and show you what we bought. We'll start over this end with the um, funny things. 
a kid's baking set. This is for Nathan because he keeps going in my utensil drawer. Uh, yeah, where, my, where all my wooden spoons and plastic things are and that. And gets them out and plays with them. But I thought if I put these in there, because they're colourful, he'd be more inclined to take these rather than what he's not meant to take. I mean, I don't mind him going in there. He can't hurt himself with anything. I've took all the sharp objects out of there. But at least these would be designed for him. They were in the middle aisle. I got Chloe a couple more of these cup, shop, uh, cup shots. They're just like mug shots that you get from the supermarkets. We saw this um, Little Town Timeless Toys dinosaur egg matching carton. Um, they had numbers and they had alphabets. Now, this is actually like a um, egg carton, but it's plastic. And then in the eggs that come in half are dinosaurs, as you can see. So it teaches him to match them up. And he does love dinosaurs. We didn't get the other two. He only needs one egg set. And I'm pressing the um, dishwasher. Oh, go! Cool. don't turn that on. Open it so it doesn't go on. Um, yeah, so that will go for him for Easter. So he can start playing with that on Easter Day. Got a big bag of British red apples because I do love apples. I cut them up and obviously I'll start snacking on them a lot as well. Ignore that. That is not a jug of wee or anything. It's oil, okay? <laughs> Before anyone thinks, what is that? It's oil. It's because I was cleaning out my deep fat fryer the other day. Um, it's still being cleaned because, you know, grease sticks to everything. It takes a bloody good lot of elbow grease to clear it. And then that oil was from the original five litre bottle that I emptied the or deep fat fryer into so they could go in the bin rather than down the sink, which is not good. Don't put your oil down the sink. Um, apples. Straight cut chips for everyone for dinner tonight. Two packets of these steam in a bag vegetables. You get four individual bags. These are portioned out for me. It's going to be easier. If I do a quick and easy dinner for myself, because I'm fed up with cooking multiple different meals, these are great to just pull one out and has as, have as a side. So, like I said, there's four individual in there. You just put them in the microwave. This one is carrot, peas and sweet corn. And then that one is carrots, broccoli and cauliflower. They were one ninety nine each. Two of the reduced fat soft cheese, because I'm liking that now, <laughs> with um, smoked salmon um, in wraps, believe it or not, on crackers, like low-fat crackers, or a bagel thin. And this is a good source of protein as well, so that's good. I've got two lots of bananas. We've got a pack of bananas that are yellow, and then some greener ones there as well, because by the time these go, they will be ready. So that's why I've got two lots. We got the new Aldi's dupe of Nutella hot cross buns. The kids are looking forward to them. I'm probably just going to whip up some cream from the fridge and do it as a dessert with a bit of melted chocolate over the top rather than um, a snack, you know, like with toasted and butter. I'll probably toast them up, scrape cream or whisked up cream and then drizzled with a bit of Nutella. A nice pudding, I think. Then I found some new things in the middle aisle, which I'm very excited about. Some, let's try and get a better lighting on this. It's because it's funny time of day. The Vietnamese, Vietnamese, I ain't saying it right, spring roll kit. And in here, you get the dipping sauce, rice um, noodles and rice paper. And all you have to do, if I can get it to show you without thingy, simply add lettuce, prawns, plus your choice of fillings. So I'm looking forward to that. And it will be a nice lunch. And it's not too high in calories as well. So they were about 2 49 each. So I've got two of them. They will all last me a while. At the back, Steve picked up Thai sweet chicken ridged crisps. I got the other Vietnamese, <laughs> Vietnamese poke it, I think it is. It's like a soup. In this kit, you get rice noodles, spice and herb sachet, black soybean sauce, 
the Vietnamese chili sauce. So it's going to be like a soup sort of thing. And then you just have to add bean sprouts, meat, fish of your choice or vegetables. And I've got all that, so I'm going to crack on and do them for lunches. Shane wanted some coconut water to try, so that is what we've got for him. All lots of chocolate milk for the others, so one for Steve, one for Chloe, one for Hayley, one for Nathan. I had to think then. Some benefit bars for me in the summer fruits. They're only 67 calories, so that'll be a nice little... When I have the midday slump and I need a little sweet treat, that should help pick me up a little bit. Two cans of baked beans just to go in the cupboard. I always get beans from there, but I should have got more, but I, I, we stupidly only took a little trolley round. And by the second aisle in, the trolley was full. But like I said to Steve, I didn't need a lot of cupboard items. It was more fresh stuff that I needed. So that was my excuse and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> um, evaporated milk for Steve. Some more smoked salmon for me. Again, high in protein. Great stuff this is now, now that I like it. Some British cooked chicken for pat lunches and sandwiches. Four steaks, and these are like really, really good price. They've gone down from three fifteen to two ninety nine, and they look really nice. I got four of them because I'm having steak tonight. Shane's having steak tonight. I'm going to put two in the fridge because they've got a long life on them. Steve is having a homemade burger puff which if anyone doesn't know what that is, it's a burger cooked in, wrapped in puff pastry and then cooked. It's something he's had when he was younger. I've never made them before, but I've got puff pastry in the other fridge that needs using. So I'm going to knock some of them up. I'm going to knock up some more cheese and bacon turnovers for the boys' lunches while I'm cooking dinner. And then Nathan's just going to have sausages with chips. So it's going to be... All are going to have chips and beans, and then everyone's going to have their different sides. Chloe and Hayley will have chicken, because I've got some of that in the fridge. But that's them. Long explanation. We have prawns, some king prawns for the fridge for my lunches. I've got two packets for salads. Love them with a squeeze of lemon on and mix in a nice salad bowl. Two packets of ham this time for pat lunches and for a snack for me when I need that little thing to tie me over till dinner. Two lots of sausage rolls for pat lunches and the kids' snacks. Two lots of spring onions. Let's go backwards a little bit. There we go. Spring onions one and two. That is for salads. Pack of 12 eggs. I always buy eggs. I don't eat them very much. Although I wish I would because they're a great source of protein. But I just, I just, I, I eat them as scrambled egg. But I just don't like them any other form. So I get them because you do, you need them. Um, we have the kids and Steve's favourite barbecue sauce, which is this one. I've got two of them because we completely run out. I've got the Harvest Morn Crisp Cereal Strawberry. That is to go along with for my breakfast with yogurt and fruit. Some days, not every day. Um, if you guys are interested in um, what I eat in a day, maybe what I eat in a day and what Nathan eats in a day, then let me know down in the comments below. Um, I'm more than happy to produce that type of video for you if you are interested. Again, it would just be a glimpse into what we eat. We don't eat the same stuff every day, and I do try and mix up Nathan's diet as well. But it might give you some ideas, same as you might watch my video and think, hey, Hannah, why don't you try this? Which, you know, I'm all up for some good ideas, because sometimes I, I get stuck in a rut as well. But I like this, like a half a cupful of that, with some yoghurt and some fruit mixed up in the mornings. Yummy. And then I saw these, which are porridge pots, but they're new. They had a banoffee flavour, and then this one was caramelised biscuit flavour. I don't like the caramelised biscuit rave at the moment, but my friends do. They absolutely love the lotus biscoff and then the caramelised biscuit ones. 
and I got these because I thought they'd be fantastic for my friend. Right, bear with me. I'm going to turn that off. There, that's better. I had the hood on above you and it was putting a glare on. But I bought them. She doesn't like bananas, so I didn't get the banoffee flavoured one. I got them for her to have for breakfast at school because she's a teacher. We got just three packets of grapes because it is a short week for everyone this week. The kids break up on Thursday for half term. So I only got two packets of red. They were on their Super 6. And then one packet of green slash white grapes for Steve for his pack lunches. And then we'll go to the back again quickly. I got some Jaffa Benefit cereal bars for snacks for me. Lots of yogurt because they are a good good snack and protein and stuff i got two of the everyday essential fat free natural yogurt one of the strawberry and then one of the vanilla they are the big pots and the problem i have is portions i do big portions if you've been around for a while and you've seen my meals of the week videos i do do big portions i'm afraid so yes um it would be cheaper for me to buy big things like this, but it's not always easy or practical for me because I would have to <laughs> portion it and I'm not very good with that. So I don't want to think I'm eating healthy, but then I could do this whole pot in one sitting. Whereas if I had one of these, which was the same price as that, at least this is portioned out, you know? So, um, I got them and then I got these ones which are layered yogurts. I got the blueberry, which is looks nice. These are what I'm thinking for puddings if I need a little treat, like after, a little sweet thing after dinner. Then we have the passion fruit. And then we have the strawberry. So that is them with puddings in mind. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not denying myself. If I want a chocolate bar or a Cadbury's cream egg, I'm going to eat it. I'm just trying to trying to be a bit more, what's the word, um, a bit more observant on what I'm putting in my body now. So they're the yogurts. Now we're on to like the discounted stuff, which is great. I've got two packets. That one's upside down, so that's going to wind me up, of the casserole mix. So in here you get carrots. Can I see? Yeah, it's on the back and then you can actually see what's in it. Where are you? I can't find the ingredients. It doesn't... Oh, there we go. A mix of potatoes, carrots, swede, leek and onions. Absolutely great. I will either turn that into soup for me, I'll either roast it or just boil it up, or I'll put that in the freezer for when I do a casserole or a stew for the family. Yes, granted, we're coming to the end of, like, cold season, hopefully, and spring's here, and casseroles and stews are coming to the end of, like, you're going to start doing more salads and stuff, but I do like a soup, so I might turn them into soups. You never know. Um, we've got some apple slices for Shane's pack lunches. Two pots of the tomato and basil pasta, already portioned out. I might send one of these with Hayley for her pack lunch tomorrow. And then I might have one half tomorrow with salad. And then I will probably have the other half the next day. It'll be fine. Food doesn't know when it goes off. This is, this is just a best before, really. Guideline. I say if it smells all right, looks all right, and tastes okay, then you are going to be fine, you know? So that's why I got them. Oh, I just had a little kitten squeak. No, they're all right. Um, bean sprouts, again, for my spring rolly things that are over there. That was 30% off. A vegetable soup mix. So again, I'll either put that in the freezer or I will make some soup and then put it in the freezer, portioned out. Something that I don't buy very often, and it's white fish fillets. Um, I have made my own fish and chips before, um, but I was thinking I could do it again. But this would be more like fish fingers, because they're like strips of fish. 
again depending on what i get in my morrison's too good to go box later depends on whether i cook this up this week or put it in the freezer but that was interesting i want to give it that a go we got some british chicken breasts at 50 percent off that is going to be a source of protein snack for me for the next couple of days just having the fridge so i could just pick at that rather than the naughty stuff in the cupboard i've shown you the bean sprouts two packets of sugar snap peas at 75 percent off we've got one there and then one over there they will be for snacking for me and shane's pack lunches this will be the salad pot that i have half tomorrow and half i might actually have half of that tonight with my steak so yeah probably half of that and steak and then half tomorrow for my lunch uh, we have some baby leaf salad that will be either for the tortoises or the guinea pigs we have four bags of kale at 30 percent off which is great because there is a lot of herbivores in this house now we have the six guinea pigs and now we have the two tortoises thumbelina and tiptoe that are doing really really well and I didn't realise how much they'd eat to be truthful, but I'm I'm getting growing. Once the um herbs and, and salad leaves start growing, then I can start giving them that rather than buying the pre-packaged stuff. But until then, keep buying. Um three packets of wonky strawberries, 30% off. They are gonna last a good couple of days in my fridge, provided the kids don't eat them. But to be truthful, they're probably gone by wednesday you know once nathan sees them and they've gone in packed lunches they're probably gone a strawberry trifle for um pudding either pro pudding probably tomorrow night that one or that one tonight and then the hot cross buns tomorrow night and to make it a bit more festive i might put some of my easter sprinkles on top or some mini eggs or something i'm going to try and incorporate easter themed things into our meals this week so whether it be pudding or breakfast or lunches or whatever i'm going to see what i can do but i picked up a strawberry trifle steve put two lots of the nescafe vanilla latte sachets in the trolley i didn't know they were in there until we got to the checkout they are probably one for work one for at home hiding down here we have two packets of the crumpets in the shapes of rabbits and guys, we made a breakthrough. Nathan is now eating crumpets that are not just round. So right, let's stand there and then there's less of a glare. He is willing to eat crumpets in a different shape. He actually ate a square one the other day, which is great. It sounds stupid, but for a child with autism, changing their safe foods can be very difficult to get them to try and can cause them great deals of stress. But he tried it and we was over the moon so i've got him two lots of rabbit ones hoping he'll try you know it's a funny shape and a funny face you might see the face and say a rabbit so you never know and then down here we've got some more greens we've got another baby leaf salad which does look a bit wet but once i put a paper towel in there it'll be completely fine for a few more days um watercress and watercress spinach and rocket Again, another salad mix. I'll open that up, put a paper towel in there and it will dry it out and keep it good for a couple more days. I think I'm going to be living on salads all this week for lunch. <laughs> I never know. But, like, I will be trying these. They are the Aldi Jaffa Cake Hot Cross Buns. I will be toasting one of these up, slavering it in butter and having one of them later on i think see i'm not depriving myself i will be having nice things as well but they sounded gorgeous got some cherry tomatoes or baby plum tomatoes and then these are the cherry tomatoes when i am on kind of like a health kick i keep these out on the kitchen side and i will snack on these just walk past and pop one in my mouth rather than going to the sweetie cupboard and all that lot and eating the kids crap but i got them two different types different flavors 
two packets of the ready rolled pizza dough. Fifty percent off, guys. So I thought, you know, I'm gonna pick some up, put them in the freezer, and then the kids could possibly make pizzas next week during the um, half term. So there is that. That is everything, which is good. All good. I'm gonna. I can't say I'm gonna meal show you the meal plan because I don't know what the meal plan is. But by the time the next weekly food shop comes out, which will probably be Wednesday, which will be the second part of my food shop, there will be the meal plan there. So um, keep an eye out for that video. Thumbs up if you like this video. And if you think that was a good deal. Um, I can't remember where I put the receipt. Bear me one second, guys. Okay, I'm back, right? All of this should have uh, did come to 119 pound 24 which i think that's that's really quite good what do you think considering i got lots and lots of good healthy stuff i got the salmon i got the fish i got lots of meat steak and i got some toy bits for nathan i think that's good but everyone has their own opinion thumbs up if you like this video subscribe if you haven't done so already and then if you do decide to subscribe to my channel, don't forget to hit that notification bell so that YouTube will tell you every time I upload a new video. And it really does help my channel out, guys. It really, really does. So um, please do so. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.